Hi, my name's Laura Aston. I'm Head of Academic Centre Administration for the STEM courses at ICE. So you should study STEM courses at ICE because it's a really great opportunity to learn from academics who are experts in their field. It's a great networking opportunity. You'll meet lots of students with different backgrounds and experiences within the medical and healthcare settings. Um, some of our teaching takes place at Maddingley Hall, which is a beautiful setting um, in order to fully immerse yourself in the course. And we also use a number of teaching uh, faculties and departments across the city that really puts you at the heart of the university. We run a number of um, courses within the STEM portfolio. At the moment we offer medical education, clinical medicine and genomic medicine. Uh, we're constantly adding to our portfolio. Uh, you can find information on all of our courses that we offer on our website. All of our STEM courses are delivered um, in a variety of ways. So they all have in-person teaching that takes place a few days every term. There's also various online activities such as discussions, completing reading and tasks set by your tutors. There's also a series of assessments that take place in each of our courses. Studying a STEM course with us will open up various opportunities for you within the medical and healthcare sciences. You might use the skills that you've acquired to gain promotion. It could be an opportunity for you to improve a particular area within your field. Um, other people go on to completely new career pathways that they may never have considered before. You can expect to be interviewed um, when you apply for one of our courses. This is nothing to worry about, it's no more than about 30 minutes and it's an opportunity for the panel to get to know you, understand your motivation for studying and it's also an opportunity for you to reflect and um, ask us any questions that you might have. Hi, my name's Ruth Samyang. I work for the Institute of Continuing Education, heading up the admissions team. So when applying for a STEM programme, the questions usually are course specific together with the supporting documents that you're required to upload for that programme type. If you assess the supporting documents required for the programme that you're interested in, you upload those as well as completing the application form. The supporting documents usually cover areas such as references, evidence of previous studies, transcripts and degree certificates, possibly a CV. It does vary from programme to programme, but the documents required are listed on the website. Then once you've gathered the supporting evidence and completed the application, you submit the two together. If you're interested in applying for one of our courses, please um, start your application in good time, get in contact with us if you have any questions, and don't be put off by the fact that it's the University of Cambridge, we welcome your application.